everyone. Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ashley and here on my channel, I talk about all about applique, embroidery, Etsy, and running your own small business from home. Um, so today I'm going to bring you guys along as I'm working on orders for the week. Um, it is Thursday, November 11th. It's Veterans Day. So thank you to all our veterans, even though you'll be seeing this later. Um, I'm going to be trying to finish all my orders for the week. Definitely doable, but I've also been taking it kind of easy and not working as much um, per day, but like more days throughout the week. So we'll see if we can get it all done today. I have one kid's shirt. It's not scheduled to ship until next week, but it is a Thanksgiving shirt. I'm gonna go ahead and make that and ship that either today or tomorrow. Um, and then I have 19 jackets left to do for the week. I think I tallied up. Um, so definitely doable. Um, I don't have 100% of the files set up. I have about two thirds of them set up. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on those. I'll bring you guys along and just show you what I'm working on. And um, I do have some local stuff I'm going to be working on today too, like intermixed. I have a, a, some quilt blocks for like a memory quilt. Um, I have some blankets I need to add names on. I've got a Carhartt order back there I actually finished yesterday that I need to trim up and um, get those ready to be picked up by the customer. Um, I actually did record some clips on how I use Mighty Hoops on those Carhartt jackets. So hopefully I'll be able to post that for you guys too. I need to look over the footage. Some of it was a little iffy. Um, <laughs> had some problems. So I'm going to make sure I can actually give you guys some good tips and tricks on that and um, show you the fails as well. Um, because I like to keep it real like that. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and get started for today. Like I said, my printer just started printing. Um, delayed response, I guess, from plugging it in. Um, so hopefully that's not too loud. But I'm going to go ahead and get started, get my designs transferred to the machines. Um, I do actually still have, you probably see these, all these boxes back here behind me, um, boxes of blanks here I need to go through and sort to be able to actually do these orders today. So I'm going to do that first and then get the machines going. All right, so I have all the computer work things taken care of, got my order placed, everything. I'm only missing one jacket that I need um, for this week and it's expected to be here today. I didn't check tracking, but it should be here today. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Before I do that though, I just want to talk about something. Um, so I had to do something this morning that I don't like to do and that was contact another shop and ask them to take my images down. Um, I realize that I share a lot here, um, but copying has been something I've battled um, long before YouTube. So I don't think that's exclusively just because I post and share a lot here. I think it's been a long time issue. Um, however, this kind of took it to a new level. This person took, cropped my jacket images and then tried to Photoshop them onto their own jacket mockups. Um, and they didn't even remove the background. So they didn't look very good. The fonts didn't match. The fonts didn't match their font list. Guys, just don't. <laughs> um, I will give someone the benefit of the doubt once. I will contact them. I will tell them, you know, I'm giving you X amount of time to get these removed. Or I will ret um, report them to Etsy as copyright. Um, that is copyright infringement if you're taking someone else's images and using them as your own. Um, that's a whole different ball game than trademark. Um, so just to clarify that you should not be using other people's images. That's it. Um, please don't, please make your own mock-ups. Please stitch out your own things. However, you're going to handle that. Please do your own. Um, it really bothers me. Like I let myself get super worked up about it last night when I found the images, when I was told about them. Um, and honestly, I don't have time to deal with this. Um, just use your own stuff there. It's one thing to be inspired by what someone's doing. And I know we're all using the same embroidery designs for the most part, but blatant theft and copying is not something that is acceptable. So if you're going to be doing something similar to anyone you see on YouTube, not just me, make your own stuff, put your own twist on it, all the things. Um, just be honest, people. Be honest.
Hey guys, um, so it's after lunch now, just a quick update. I've only got like a third of the way through my list, which is like six or seven items. <laughs> um, so need to get back to work. I had a bunch of interruptions and just different things going on this morning, so I didn't get through very much, um, but that's okay. Like I said, I actually technically have tomorrow to do all these too, so it'll be fine. Um, this machine here though is acting up and it's the white, specifically the white thread. Um, it's actually like bunching up on top and just looping and just looking nasty. And I stitched out several long stitch outs on Carhartt jackets yesterday. And I didn't think about changing my needle this morning. So I'm going to do that first before I get that one started again. I'm sure that's going to fix it. Um, those Carhartt jackets are hard, tough, and probably terrible for your needles. So you do those, change out your needle before you go back to stitching knits. Um, I should have known to do that. It just didn't think about it until I saw one of the jackets. I'm like, need to change that. <laughs> so I might even be redoing this jacket. Um, I'm going to see what it looks like once I pull it off and um, clean it up and see if it looks okay or if I'm going to need to restitch it out. Um, it's possible I might need to restitch this one. Um, it's that bad. All right, so I'm going to just demonstrate how I change needles on this. It's actually very easy. Um, I use organ needles for my tin needle, tin needles and six needle machines. Um, and they are specifically, they come in this box. Hopefully that focuses. Um, the EBBR ones. And I use, I prefer the 7511. Those kind of seem to be the good middle of the ground generic. These are slightly ballpoint. They seem to work for just about everything. You can, of course, always get specific like sharp ones and stuff like that. Um, but these kind of just are good generic work for everything type. Um, so I use this little tool. It's like a little screwdriver, but it's a little hexagon in. And it specifically loosens the needle or the screw up there that um, holds the needle in. So... Be super duper careful when you're doing this that you don't lose that screw. I don't even take it all the way out. I only unscrew it far enough that it um, releases the needle. Um, these needles do have a flat back, so that goes straight to the back. It makes them loading them super easy. Now, there is a little needle holder tool like on your, I don't know, I never mastered using it. I use my fingers, I hold it in place like. I'm pushing some pressure upwards and then I use the little screwdriver that came with the machine again, tighten it in. I visually make sure it's about where, you know, about the same. Um, it's the rest of the needles and then we're going to go. I just need to rethread it once I get it back to the design and that should solve my issues with this jacket. So this is what the, I was referring to. There's a couple loops here that you're not really seeing much and you can see the purple stitched fine. There's just some not super clean stuff here on the white and then we bird nested on top here. So what I'm gonna do is I left this design up on the machine. Um, I'm gonna not unhoop this. I'm gonna try to just pull out this section of this letter. I don't know if I'll be successful or not, but it's at this point it's worth a try. Um, and then see if I can get it to stitch back just that specific portion again and see how it looks. Otherwise, I'll probably have to redo the entire jacket.
but you just saw me get a uh, new test stitch prepped to go on the machine. It's gonna be a Christmas one. I'll show you guys that when it's done. And I'll link that below if it's been released once this video goes up, like always. Um, and I have about eight more jackets to go after what I have already um, pooped, finished. And I don't have those designs set up. So I'm actually gonna take a break, grab my laptop, go sit down and set those up real quick. And then I will be back and try to finish these out this afternoon. It is around two o'clock today. I'm not in a rush though, because it's, like I said in the beginning of the video, it's actually Veterans Day today when I'm recording this and there's no mail service. So, and nothing that was expected to ship today. Um, I made sure those all shipped yesterday. I've been trying to do better about that, getting them out early instead of just barely on time. Um, obviously Friday stuff's gonna go out on Friday though. But, uh, none of this has to go tomorrow, so I've just been stacking it in this box here. I'm gonna trim, I'm gonna work on trimming and folding, packaging, all that tomorrow. Um, but for now, I'm just gonna get everything finished that I can. I do still have one shirt order I'm gonna try to finish this afternoon too. It's a turkey shirt. Um, so I wanna get that out as soon as possible. Um, just for Thanksgiving coming up very quickly, and you never know what the mail this days. So I'm going to wrap up with you guys today. I have three jackets left and that's it. Well, a fourth that I'm waiting on a customer to get back on me. I'm honestly probably just going to finish those tomorrow and then package and ship all these out. So everything else is done though. I did get my test stitch done. Cute little T-Rex, Mary Rexmas. Um, this is coming soon to Creative Applique. If it's listed when this video goes live, I'll include my affiliate link for you guys um, that just gives me a percentage of what you buy and I use it for new designs um, to feed my own habits. So thank you guys so much for being so supportive of my channel. I appreciate it. Hoping to have more content here for you guys soon and not just vlogs, uh, more tutorials and specific items. Um, so stay tuned and as always let me know what you'd like to see down below and I'll see you guys next time.